Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is Great Wolf. Uh, yeah, Destroy Third, my second account. I'm um, trying to rank up here in Great League. I want to showcase this very strong team Warren, Pelipper, and uh, Talonflame. So um, basically, we want to draw the counter to Talonflame, like, uh, like a Stunfisk or uh, Bastardon. Is, uh, uh, Bastardon is the core breaker on this team because. Uh, it beats everything, but uh, we managed some wins over uh, against Bastion, but um, that's the only mon that we need to worry about with this team. Otherwise, um, our Warren met by a, a Charmer a Grambo in the front, the lead, and uh, we tanked those. <coughs> Crunch no problem. We're ahead of energy. They came in with Azu. We go straight Brave Birth for sure because um, it still deals a lot of damage. Uh, we took more than half of its health. I uh, tried to get to this next flame charge, and we didn't get there. That's okay. We got two shields for Pelipper. Pelipper can close out a um, matchup that is not Talon Flame. <laughs> Let's see. Um, they threw their play rough. I tried to farm as much as I can in there, and we will tank the second play rough. It won't KO. We have enough health. We can farm up to like five bubbles before we throw a red ball. And this should be enough to KO the Azu. And what they have in the back? Uh, Swampert? No. <laughs> when I see that um, <laughs> the ground type in the water, I always think it's uh, uh, I always think it's a Swampert. But it's not, un you know, it's, it's a Whisk Cash. And um, we just went for the Nook, the Slatter damage. We raised them to the next charge move. And that's a good game. If they build up to Blizzard, I might shield. But um, if they don't, I will let it go because a mod bomb will literally do nothing to Pelipper. It's double resistant. All right, against the legend here. Oh god, this is a this is basically one of the core breaker also pure thorn lead. So if I stay there with uh, Warren, uh, Warren has no chance. Um, I just get one power rip and it's over. So uh, we swapped out to our best ape swap. Um, it's arguably the best ape swap, Pelipper. We draw out that um, Needle Queen, which is not an answer to a Pelipper. So we're just going to spam these weather balls. We already had two, and that's a lot of damage. So they got six in there. Seven. They got seven. I sneak one Powder Snow in. So I just need one more Powder Snow to KO this uh, Needle Queen. Trying to swap out right away because they're still lacking for a couple of seconds. So, I can deal some damage on this Birthorn. Yep. All right. And they got Swampert in the back. Of course, we're going to go straight Braybird. This is going to be a lot of dam damage um, if they let it go. Nope. And they're trying to farm up, farm up, farm up. And we see MP tie them on this next charge. Boom. This game is over. Yep. This Brave Bird will be enough, and the Talon Flame can deal with Birthorn easily. Even the Thunder Mirror, let it go. We still have um, War in the back, and they, they don't have Thunder. GG. Yeah, that was a bad lead, and um, we pulled it through. Let's see the third match here. Uh, Warren on Arya, that was uh, it's a neutral matchup, so we're just gonna stay in here. We I want them to debuff me, but they swap out to Jelly, so we have to stay. We don't have an answer for Jelly. Um, we go straight EQ, we take that shield, or we deal a lot of damage, and they, they shield it. It's fine. We're not gonna shield, because um, we have two answers in the back for Arya, those. And they bait. <laughs> All right. Um, a shadow ball won't even KO, so it's not worth it. The bait. The bait it again. I'm gonna bank all those energy because it'll be very um useful at the end game. I won't throw a double debuff um charge move on this um jelly. Yeah, we tank the shadow ball, no problem. We get to our own hurricane. It should be enough to KO the jelly. It's fine. We we'll let it go. You go to Talon Flame, of course. We can tank all the charge move, no problem. Um, trying to sneak one on um, in there, but I didn't. All right, that's fine. 
I build up some energy. They came in with a GIF, eh? so they're weak to talent flame. All I need to do here basically just uh, land one more um flame charge and then swap out because I have an energy for Warren and should be like barely yeah I think should be like maybe two or three or more HPs left for a Jade Fisk um and it get get KO so we're we're not shielding Warren we're saving everything to Talon since um their backline is weak to Talon I know they got another one Snake one Cinerate in. This game is over. I got energy. They got the bug type. I got a fire type. This fourth and fifth game is going to be good games. Because I lost lead hard. Alright. Depends the oxys. Safe swap. So any neutral matchup, I want shield still. I need shield advantage. Because I have a flyer and they came in with their own flyer. They don't have an answer to a flyer in the back. I'm gonna let this one go through. I think I go to talent flame here. Yep. That one incinerate of energy is um gonna be helpful. I should have went for Brave Bird here. The deal out of them. Because well, they don't shield. Eh? We, they don't set flame charge. And we have shield on ourselves. How can we pull this off? Oh no, they came in with their DD. So maybe they don't have no more counter user in the back. Let it go, they let it go. Oh no, it's a Reggie. <laughs> so let's see if we can pull this off. So I threw one flame charge. You'll get a lot of damage if they don't shield. I bank one and a half of energy. I need one more incinerate to get to the charge move. And I think um I I'm just baiting in there. I threw one more powder snow just to fake that I have earthquake and I got a shield. Now I just need to raise them to the next charge move. And incinerate down. That was a good game. If they call my bait, they won the game. Well, that's an epic win. Bad lead. Worst possible scenario in the back. We pulled it off. Bad lead again, obstacle. Let's see if I can pull this off. So that's five counters. They got Night Slash. We let it go. And they came in with a DD. So they don't have an answer to a flyer. Um, yeah, like I said, the, like first um, um, play, for, uh, first couple of minutes, that um, Hurricane is a better energy. Uh, efficient energy efficient compared to um weather ball of course we let that one through that was same beat tie farm up up to six counters so they don't get a rock slide or thunderbolt so they got in the back so i'm gonna swap out right away and they're staying so which tells me that they're still weak to a talent flame in the back We tank the first one all the time, just in case they get a boost, right? But if they get a boost, I think I'll lose this. Okay, we sneak one through again in there. I think they're going to swap out to transfer the damage, and they got their own talent. Oh, no. So I am way ahead of energy. I tried to deny, too, and I denied. And we just keep on flame charging because we're boosted already. This flame charge... Is it's gonna deal a lot of damage even though it's uh, resisted. So we got both shields down. That's simply tie. I know for a fact I won't die on a couple of incinerates. So uh, I I and I win CMP. So I, that's why I shielded that. And CMP tie again. And it's it it won't KO. But I want that 
um, I want it um, to not KO. So my Warren can um, farm down. I have energy already that I banked earlier. And that was a GG's. We got a 5-0 on this team. <clears throat> Using Warren, Pelipper, Safe Swap, and the Talon Flame. Um, subscribe if you like the video. Um, comment and I would gladly answer all your questions. Thank you.